continuing and trying to talk about what are the characteristics of gem silica that you're going to run into. You can see that most of these have been a blue to medium blue color. Some have lighter colorations, perhaps due to less chrysocolla in it, or this may in fact be dusty. We're going to look at these when they're wet and to see what the actual textures are. You can see there's some spider webbing in this one that may be an additional value to you if you're looking for a unique pattern instead of a homogeneous stone. Some of the chrysocolla, anything that is brittle is going to be waste material. So fortunately this batch doesn't have a lot of it, but when you go out into the real world you will find that there's quite a bit of waste rock available. This hollow area is going to affect your yield to some extent, but the rest of the specimen is quite solid. So when you're inspecting gem rough, uh, you have to look for the irregularities. What will this piece of gem rough give you when you actually finish working with it? And how rapidly does it change? You'll see that there are some dark areas in here lighter areas. This is a gorgeous blue color. Nice transparent, very glassy. This almost has a star-like pattern. That would make a really wonderful piece of jewelry when worked properly. Here's some that shows some this one shows some interesting patterning. Relatively uniformly thick, a little bit of wedging on one end, but you can utilize that in your designs.